friends it's Adriana from Adriana's Paper Crafts and I am going to give you guys a tutorial on how to make resealable chip bags so what you will need for this is your chip bag design which is what I have here you're gonna want it all printed out ready to go you are going to need some type of glue for me hot glue is best but you can use whatever glue you want you will need some kind of zipper bag and if you want you can use a paper crimper as well <clears throat> you don't have to now my bags before you ask I ordered these off of amazon.com um, the sizing unfortunately I have not found a plastic baggie that is the perfect size for chip bags they will either be too small or too big there's none that I found that are just right um, and so I actually am having to cut my bags and I'll show you guys how in just a second this one I believe is 6 by 10 now when I ordered it off Amazon I had like I measured my bag and I don't know I don't know what I did wrong um, but when I saw these, I was like, oh yeah, that's going to fit because I measured. Yeah, when I got them, they did not fit. <laughs> um, and so again, I don't really know what I was doing, what kind of math I was doing at the time, but I got it wrong. But I didn't want my bags to go to waste because it's money. And I always tell you guys, we need to save money. We are not about wasting money. So I went ahead and just cut them. And now they're smaller like this. So this is what it used to be. This front one is what it is now. And when I cut them, they don't have to be perfect because they're going to be glued inside of my bag. So, like I showed you guys, this one has snacks inside. Um, I put goldfish in there just because goldfish do have some kind of oil residue to them. Um, and I wanted to really, I wanted something that was oily. That way, if it did seep through, I could see it easily. And as you can see, there are no grease stains. Ignore the back. This is a uh, one of my messed up prints, and that's why I figured perfect. I can use this. I don't want it to go to waste. But there are no grease stains, as you can see, anyway. And I actually put these goldfish in there maybe three days ago, I want to say. Um, and they're still super crunchy. <laughs> they're not stale in any way. Like I said, I've had these closed, of course. It's not like you would leave them out open, because, duh, they're going to get stale super fast. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think they're perfectly fine. It's like getting them out of a regular bag. And like I said, these have been in there for three days. So now I don't recommend doing yours that many days in advance. But if you were to do it at least the day before, you should be fine. All right, guys, let's get started. Get a bag. Like I said, these are six inches across by 10 inches long. Way too long. And what you would want to look for if you really want to go digging you would want to find something that is about five inches by eight inches. Something that's five inches across, eight inches down, okay? So what I did is I went ahead and measured what would be a perfect space by taking my printout and folding it like I normally would. Let me show you guys. I went ahead and started to assemble it. And what I did is I creased the sides so that I could get a general idea of how wide this space is because that's how wide we need our bags to be. So when I measured that, it came out to about five and a half inches and I figured I don't want to make my bag difficult to fit in here. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, which means I'm going to make it be five inches. So you're going to get your bag, your regular size bag here. And you're then going to cut it to this size. So I, what I did is I put it right here. And looking at my crease line, I figured, okay, this looks about wide enough. Go ahead and cut your bag with your scissors. And then you're going to cut almost all the way down, except you're going to stop down at the bottom where your glue is going to go. And then from there, you're going to cut it across. All right, so then you're gonna have this left over and we of course want to recycle that. Remember Adriana um, recycles everything so you guys should do the same. All right, so then that looks about good. It's okay if it is not even at the bottom because we're gonna be gluing our bottoms here and you're not even gonna be able to tell. All right, 
I just went ahead and piled a few bags together. Put my small one on top. And then I started cutting. So the one, that very first bag you did is going to be your template. And you want to really hang on really tight to these bags since they're kind of slippery in your hands. And you don't want to get a really weird cut. Some trash in there, I don't know what that is. So there you go. So I just did like four bags at once. That way you have a nice little pile to go here to start off. So... If you want to use double-sided adhesive, you can certainly do so. I recommend using something really strong. You don't want to use anything cheap, like uh, maybe double-sided tape from Dollar Tree, because it's really not going to work out well for you. You also do not want to use a glue stick, like a child's glue stick, because, again, you want it to really hang on for the long haul, and those things are just not going to hold up well. Now, everybody knows that I prefer to use hot glue for everything, but because hot glue can melt this plastic if you plan to use hot glue just let it kind of breathe for a little bit before you go and stick your plastic on top so i either sometimes blow it really quickly or i just let it sit there for about five to ten seconds before i press my stuff into it now your little ziploc baggies they could have double zippers or it could be a single one like mine next time i will definitely shell out for the double zipper um, what you want to do is basically aim to make sure that most of your glue is gluing to that part there. That's the really important part. Now, when you're doing it like this, if you're going to be using hot glue, please do not put hot glue directly on your plastic. So that means that I'm going to have to eyeball where the glue is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold it over like that. And I know that the majority of my glue is going to go right here. But I also go and just do a little bit of zigzag here just so that the rest of the plastic has a somewhere to go. Because when I did not glue it down, I realized that my bags were kind of difficult to open and I was tearing the paper because that plastic was not glued all the way down. Alright, so just like that. You see that? All right, now you're going to go ahead and assemble like usual. Remember, I've got that video posted if you're not sure how to do it. So I'm just going to do it quickly here since everyone has most likely already seen that video. All right. Go ahead and close your sides here. Press that down. I always like to... Go like this just to make sure that no glue is sticking to anything on the inside here just because that, that really bugs me when it does that. Alright, now you're going to go ahead and seal the bottom. It is okay if you get some glue on the plastic there because we want to make sure that no snacks slip out from the bottom of this plastic bag since it is open down here because we cut it, remember? So it's okay if you get a little bit of glue right on the edge there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and seal that and you guys know that I prefer to use my paper crimper while my hot glue is still wet because it really helps to get you a deep crease since that glue is basically going to mold to the shape of this, this crease. Now if any came out, all you got to do is grab your scissors and just cut that little piece of glue off of there, no biggie. All right, so your bottom is closed, and now you have to come up here and go ahead and glue the other side of your bag. Again, if you're using hot glue, be sure to put glue on the paper, not the plastic, okay? Then go ahead and eyeball that, and then do a couple of zigzags of glue, just so that I make sure I'm getting it all. Glue in that for a second, so that my glue does not melt my plastic now when you try to crimp the top it is a little awkward because that zipper thing is right there so just do your best and but it's not going to look the same as the bottom unfortunately so if you want to crimp your paper before you actually stick anything onto it you can do that I did that a few times and it's just either way I think it's fine and then what I do is I go ahead and just kind of slip my fingers here to make sure that no glue got stuck anywhere. So that's good. And then you can open it by yanking it just like that. And as you can see, 
It is now grease proof and it is resealable now. All right, you guys are now educated on how to make a resealable chip bag. If you like my video, if you like my tutorials, if you like my work, then make sure to follow me on either on Facebook or Instagram, whatever it is that you use. Um, join my Facebook group if you have not yet. Just go on Facebook, type in Adriana's Paper Crafts Group, and you will find my group. I offer a lot of free stuff on there, free templates. Uh, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.